kind of hard to describe what kind of music we play. It's called like jam band, but we like do a lot of different styles like reggae, Latin, world music, funk, bluegrass, and we kind of mash it all up and just keeps it like a lot of fun, different show every time kind of vibe. The most fun part is just kind of like catching people by surprise, like starting chill and then just like going crazy and just like seeing people's reaction is definitely where we thrive for sure is like just doing wow factor stuff like in weird and throwing my guitar up and like wild kind of stuff we've played some big festivals like the hog farm hideaway uh, you got to play to the vibe definitely like sometimes no one knows our songs so we just end up playing a bunch of like bar covers like la bamba and dancing in the moonlight but in the end, it's all about just having fun, really. People always like tell us they sense that chemistry on stage, and we're like, yeah, we've been playing like five years now since high school, and everyone's like, oh, I, I can see that in your playing. Yeah. Just like the comfortability where like everyone kind of trusts me to like throw them a loop or whatever, and everyone just like catches on. So that's always a lot of fun. It's a pretty diverse crowd. It, it just, yeah, I'd say mostly like the jam band crowd, definitely particular like tie-dye kind of crowd long hair free thinking it's a lot of fun though um my name is ian martin uh, i go by favor Flevido as like an alias and uh in mercury's butterfly which is my solo project i tend to do everything on my own Gosh, the music scene is diverse. I think around here people like to keep it local and people like to keep it very DIY. And so I think the approach to music has always been very vibrant in that regard. I like I'm only a recent newcomer, you know, into the scene, I guess like six or seven years. But I've seen photos of people doing shows in like the 60s and 70s and so it's been going on for a long time but I guess even back then it was very DIY generator shows and that sort of thing. I kind of like Chico. Chico's the stomping ground like anyone who's anyone and anything who's anything. It's all happening in Chico. I think this is like a really good place to be. I've played in other places and the community is vibrant but I guess because this is where it is home for me, this is where I find the most fun playing. I really like Naked Lounge is probably like the place that I would recommend. They've always been really gracious to me uh, for letting me play and very accommodating. They also have like water and stuff, you know, and they got bathroom access which is really cool. But um, because they are really open for shows, uh, there's a lot of influx of bands coming that want to perform and word of mouth spreads and that's usually a really good thing. So that's like, that's the top place to be, and that's what kids say. The Naked Lounge. I like when when it comes to local shows, performing or going to see a band, that at the end you can like talk to them. You can go up to the merch table, you can communicate with them directly, you can buy their merchandise, you can like literally interact with them, and no one's too like over another person to want to be able to interact with you. Like everyone's really chill. Like I think that's really cool. Like that's what I like the most, being able to like network and meet people and like form memories and stuff. Like that's really important to me. Oh, usually, well, I guess because of, because I'm goth, I see a lot of alternative people, punks and goths. But um, I don't know. There's all sorts, all sorts of different folks. There's everyone that comes in those doors. I even see one show I played in in Marysville. There was a grandma who brought her grandchildren because it was like a nice, safe getaway for them, and it was like cheap entertainment. You know, it's, you know, it's it was cool. Like so, you're just, while there is a target. I guess you could say anyone can walk through the door. Because it feels like it's like 
hanging out without having to say anything, you know? It's, you can kind of communicate a lot of emotions and feelings without having to, without having to talk and, and like navigate that. I don't know, it's easier to just play music and it's like a, a very like visceral kind of way to express emotions and feelings, which is pretty cool. So I like that a lot. We perform like once or twice a week typically. Um, mostly at the markets. Um, Saturday morning markets are definitely our number one. Um, we just started playing at the Thursday markets. And every once in a while we have a gig here and there. I think the best part in performing is just how much fun that I have uh, playing with with the people in my band and just making music with my friends. I really enjoy that it's not only beneficial for the people playing it, but also the people listening. It's, uh, it's like on one hand, I really enjoy playing the music and I think it's a really fun collaborative process, but also seeing other people enjoy listening to the music and just the amount of people you get to meet that I would never ever <laughs> get to meet otherwise, especially at like Saturday markets and whatnot. It's really cool seeing people kind of come together over over a common joy of music. I really like uh, I really like when we play Blue Monk. That's a song that I'm a I'm a fan of. Uh, it's it's great. I feel like we have a fun dynamic when we play that song as a band, and um, I always enjoy it. I think the best part of performing is like in a public space is just like meeting people and seeing people and engaging with people that you wouldn't outside of music. Like especially at the markets, like I have met and just been able to talk to a whole bunch of people that I would never have talked to if I wasn't playing music at the market. Like it's just it opens it opens the door to just meeting new people and connect with people through music. And I really like the the like social aspect of playing music. You get kind of an idea as to like what the crowd, who the crowd is that you listen to the music, because usually music's a really personal thing, especially when it's recorded. It's just you and you're just listening to it. So it's fun to see the other people who also listen to it and see their reactions to different songs and stuff. Thank <laughs> you.